welcome everybody to the, welcome everybody to the uh, uh, to the uh, immune Zoom seminars. Today we are very happy to have uh, Professor Xue Ming Yang from uh, Shanghai Jiao Tong University. And uh, uh, Xue Ming had his uh, uh, bachelor degree in Peking University in 2002. And uh, he got his PhD in uh, Institute of Biophysics, Chinese Academy of Sciences in 2009, where we had the, like two years all lab. And from 2009, 2014, he had his postdoc uh, scholar in uh, uh, Yang Xing Fu's lab in University of Chicago. And from 2014, 2015, he was a research associate in University of Chicago. And uh, in 2015 to 2018, uh, he was, he was uh, hired as a special uh, principal investigators in uh, Shanghai Jiao Tong University. And from last year, 2002, he, uh, he got the tenure associate professor in uh, Shanghai University, uh, Shanghai Jiao Tong University. Xue Ming uh, spent his uh, most of interest in the tumor microenvironments and immunotherapy, especially the immuno, uh, immune inhibitory mechanisms in tumor microenvironments. And more recently, it's about the antibody uh, based target immunotherapy. And uh, especially like today, he will uh, focus on the CAR T and adopted T cell transfers for the uh, solid, uh, solid cancer immunotherapy. So uh, let's welcome Xue Ming's talk. Okay, thank, thank Jim for the introduction. Thanks, Xiaoya and the Chen for the organization. It's a great honor to share our recent work with you guys. So, so my lab of focus on my lab of focus on the role of T cells in anti-tumor immunity. We investigated the T cell activation mechanism during various anti-cancer therapy, for example, the anti-oncogenic receptor, anti-EGFR, anti her 2 and the immune checkpoint antibody, immune agonist antibody, anti-PD-1, anti-4MBB. And also we uh, do some research about androgen blockade in prostate cancer. And we also have a crispr cancer based whole genome screening to identify tumor-derived T cell inhibitor mechanism, or identify JK1 uh, USP22. Um, uh, finally, based on the uh, novel discovered mechanism, we try to develop a, a T cell-based antibody and the cellular therapy in both preclinical model and in, in patients. Today, I'm going to share one story about uh, optimization of CAR-T therapy in our lab. And tumor is derived from, from normal cells, a lot of mutation accumulated in tumor cells. And the new, new mutations can be recognized by the immune system, especially T cells. And the T cells can irradiate the tumor cells in an MHC dependent manner. However, another engineered T cell, CAR T cells, can eliminate the tumor cells in an MHC independent manner. So this is much more convenient than, than, T, than unmodified T cells. In 1993, the first generation of CAR T cells was established. This is the first generation of CAR T with CD3 data as the intracellular domain. In 1998 and uh, 2004, and the cost stimulatory CD28 and the 4MBB was introduced to the CAR design. This is called the, the second generation of CAR T. And in 2010 and 2013, the CAR T therapy was used to treat B cell lymphoma and B cell leukemia patients. And until 2017, the US FDA approved the first CD19 targeting CAR T therapy as a drug. And until now, there are five approved CAR T therapeutics in the United States and one approved cardiotherapy therapeutic in China. However, all these approved cardiotherapeutics are against hematopoietic cancer, not for solid tumor. And when we look at the data from Global Can, and there are about uh, uh, 1 million hematopoietic cancer new case per year. But for solid tumor, it's about 60 million. 
But when we look at the clinical trial for these cancers, and actually the clinical trial for treating hematopoietic cancer is 2.6 times more than the solid tumor cancer. So which suggested, suggested that an urgent demand of the solid tumor cancer therapy, so solid tumor cardiotherapy in clinical. Not, not only about the, the fewer trials against the solid tumor, but when we look at the efficacy of the cardiotherapy against the solid tumor, the average rate of complete remission is about 4% in cardiotherapy against the solid tumor. However, the similar car design and, and use different target for to treat hematopoietic cancer, the average rate of complete remission is about 30 to 80%. The, the immune suppressive macro environment of solid tumor uh, consists of multiple inhibitor mechanism to limit the function of CAR T cells. There are multiple immune suppressive cells, such as marrow derived suppressive cells, the uh, regulatory T cells, tumor associated macrophage, and the cancer associated fibroblast. Now, also some immune suppressive cytokines, TGL beta L10, and the immune checkpoint PDL1. All these mechanisms together, working together to limit the function of T cells in solid tumor tissue, of course, including the uh, CAR T cells. In order to improve the CAR T therapy against the solid tumor, we need to uh, redesign the CAR or, to, or do some combination to overcome the the mentioned limita limitations in solid tumor microenvironment. For example, we can we can switch the P the PD one signaling to CD twenty eight cross stimulation signaling in CAR design. Now we can also use uh, like anti PD one or or anti TGL beta to block antibody to block this immune suppressive mechanism and uh, combined with uh, with CAR therapy. Besides the immune suppressive microenvironment in solid tumor, the, there is a, the, due to the overgrowth of tumor cells, the tumor cells consume more, nu more nutrition and also generate a metabolic suppressive microenvironment. And so the, the, the metabolic suppressive tumor, solid tumor microenvironment is acid, as with no glucose, with low oxygen, and is insufficient for some amino acid. And in addition, the tumor cells can also generate some immune suppressive metabolic substrate, such as the, the lactate and the K9. And these molecules can directly inhibit the T cell function. So the re-engineering of CAR the metabolic re-engineering of CAR cells is required to, to apply the CAR cells for solid tumor treatment. In our lab, there are two directions to optimize the function of CAR cells. The first that we call the knowledge-based, knowledge-directed optimization. The second is a crispr cas based uh, screening. So CAR T is, is uh, one kind of T cells, although the CAR signal transduction and the endogenous, endogenous T cell signal transduction is different, but the unmodified T cells and the CAR T cells share a lot of a common similar regu regulatory pathways, such as the CAR stimulation, CAR inhibition, the, the gamma chain cytokines and the, the cell metabolism and the apoptosis and the cell cycle regulation. So it's uh, similar in, in both CAR T cells and uh, unmodified T cells. Unmodified T cells. So if we uh, use already established or reported regulated tools in this pathway, we can further optimize the function of CAR T cells. At the same time, if, you, if we design the uh, SGRNA laboratory against the path we mentioned about. We do CRISPR calcium based screening. We can identify novel genes are involved in the CAR T cell function. Today, I'm going to show uh, one story about uh, of the knowledge directed optimization of CAR T cells in our lab. Before that, I'd like to go over 
uh, three examples of how knowledge-based optimization of CAR T cells makes success. The first one is from uh, Dr. Chen Jixi's group. They designed a CAR to better mimic the uh, endogenous CD3 T cell signaling pathway. They integrate a CD3 F signal into the uh, combined with the CD3 Zeta in CAR design. This design significantly reduce the cytokine production and enhance the positions of CAR cells. This is an example of optimization of the, the signal one. And also uh, Dr. Xinyi's group, they designed a star receptor and they by, by combined the anti, by fuse the antibody fragment into the uh, end terminal of the uh, TCR off chain, beta chain, they generate a star a receptor. And the star receptor actually used the, the same signal transduction as the endogenous T cell CD3 complex. And then they also get a, a improved function of the CAR cells. And this is one example about the optimization of uh, cost stimulation in CAR cells. Dr. the Cardin's group, they use I cost combined with 4MBB to improve the, the CAR cell activation and the position, positions in the against the tumor cells. And this is a, one, a, two examples uh, about the optimization of the signal three. And uh, Kagoya and Sam uh, reported that they integrate a jack status signal into the car or integrate a constitutively active L7 receptor into the car, both providing the additional signal three for T cell activation. And then they show a better persistence of CAR cells in vivo and the improved anti tumor efficacy. But we, we focus on the cost stimulation signals. We know cost stimulation is important, but, but it's critical for T cell activation. During T cell activation, if the cost stimulation is deficient, the T cell energy will occur. And the cost stimulation signal pathway in, in T cell is diverse. And different type of cells use different type of cost stimulation, cost stimulation receptors. For example, the, the 4MBB is mainly used by CD8 T cells. OS40 is mainly used by CD4 T cells. And the, the, the data is, many, is expressed on the regulated T cells. And some cost stimulation receptors is uh, constitutively expressed. For example, CD28, but most of the cost stimulation receptors uh, inducibly express upon activation, like uh, for maybe also 40 I cost. Cost stimulation is, is important for unmodified T cells activation and also is important for chimeric antigen receptor T cells. The first generation of CAR T cells is only, uh, the intracellular domain is only consists of uh, CD3 zeta. But the, the second generation, but second generation of car design, the uh, CD28 or 4MBB or other cost stimulation receptors or integrate to the car design. This cost stimulation domain greatly enhances the car function of the second generation, second generation of car cells compared with the first generation of car cells. But let's look at the difference of cost stimulation between the unmodified T cells and the CAR T cells. In unmodified T cells, the cost stimulation activation was uh, initiated by the engagement of the natural ligand and, and the, the receptor. And this cost stimulation signaling is, is, is independent of the T cell signal, it's separate with the T cell signal. But however, in the, in the CAR design, the cost stimulation domain is tandemally linked to the T cell signaling. So the activation is driven by the tumor antigen, not a natural uh, ligand. But here comes the, the question, what about we mimicking the natural cost stimulatory signals in CAR T cells? We, what about we introduce a, a separate cost, stimula cost stimulation receptor in the CAR T cells? So to this purpose, we we use CD20 as target. We establish the CD20 targeting. We use 4MBB and, and the CD3 zeta as the intracellular domain. This is called the 20BB cardi cells. And then we link these cardi cells with a self cleavage P2A peptide and followed by 12 cost stimulation receptors. 
And in this design, the, the car and the core stimulation receptors were separately expressed on the surface of the, of the T cells. So at first, we, we compiled the proliferation of these CAR T cells in a seven day in vitro cell culture. We find that after seven days culture, a different cost stimulation receptor showed distinctly effect on the proliferation of the CAR T cells. Like CD27, OS40, and the GTA show enhanced the proliferation of the CAR T cells. And like CD30 and the TM1 of one baby actually decrease the proliferation of the CAR T cells. So it's so different. Since our, in our in vitro system, we show the OS40 show the best uh, enhancement of proliferation of CAR T cells. Our full experiment focused on this OS, BBG OS40 CAR construct. But first, we check the expression of the CAR and OS40 expression in 20 BBG and 20 BBG OS40 cells. Uh, we find after the infection, we find that the CAR expression in percentage is similar. And the, the, uh, and however, after the antigen stimulation, we find that the CAR percentage is increased dramatically in both 20 BBG and 20 BBG OS40 CAR cells, which suggested that the, the OS40 expression does not, did, didn't affect the CAR expression and didn't affect its signal transduction. And also we can find after the stimulation, now in the control 20 BBG CAR T cells, there are about 28% uh, of CAR cells express low level of OS40. However, in our uh, 20 BBG OS40 CAR T cells, almost all CAR positive cells express high level of OS40. Then we check whether it's OS40 is functional. We, we we stimulate this 20 BBG and 20 BBG OS40 CAR T cells with the Raji OS40 ligand cells. And we can find that after stimulation, the uh, phosphorylation of ERK and uh, P65 and AKT all increase in engineered 20 BBG OS40 CAR T cells. Then we try to dissect which pathway is important for the enhanced proliferation of 20 BBG OS40 CAR T cells. We use small molecular inhibitors targeting PS3K AKT pathway, mapkinase ERK pathway, and uh, carbide pathway. We find that all three types of inhibitors can surprise the 20 BBG OS40 CAR T cell proliferation in vitro, which suggests that OS40 can induce multiple signal pathway activation and all its pathways are required for the enhanced proliferation of 20 BBG OS40 CAR T cells. The, the, the chronic tumor burden is reported to induce the T cells apoptosis and exhaustion. So to, to mimic the chronic tumor burden in vivo, we generate an in vitro culture protocol. We uh, added the irradiated large tumor cells to the cell culture every, every, every six days and check the apoptosis, exhaustion marker, and the proliferation of the CAR T cells. We find that in, in five donor derived T cells we tested all in all its tested donors, the 20 BBG OS40 CAR T cells sh show a increased proliferation potential compared with 20 BBG OS40 CAR T cells. And it's reported that the apoptosis and the exhausting is the two key factors can affect the T cell growth and the proliferation. We check the active Caspian 3 expression in 20 BBG and 20 BBG OS40, and we find that the uh, apoptosis is reduced in 20 BBG OS40 CAR T cells. And the consistent with the reduced uh, apoptosis phenotype, we find anti apoptotic B cell 2, B cell XL was increased in 20 BBG OS40 CAR T cells. And similarly, we compiled, we, we detected the exhaustion marker in these two CAR T cells. We we'll find the, the PD1 next to team three was decreased. The expression of the, these three molecules was decreased in 20 BBG or 40 CAR T cells, suggesting a, a, a less exhausting status of these 20 BBG or 40 CAR T cells. 
Then we compiled the cytotoxicity of, of these two CAR T cells. We found that after uh, the antigen stimulation, the second antigen stimulation and the third antigen stimulation and the first antigen stimulation, the 20 BBZ OS40 CAR T cells show an increased tumor killing ability of, in our in vitro CAR T system. And consistent with the, the enhanced uh, the cytotoxicity of 20 BBZ OS40 CAR T cells, the caning related molecules such as uh, in the front gamma, uh, granzyme B, was increased at both protein level and uh, mRNA level. So uh, due to the enhanced cytotoxic cytotoxicity against the tumor cells, we wonder whether this OS40 will enhance the non-specific caning of the sorry, non-specific caning of the, the tumor cells. Now we established the NAM6 and NAM6 human CD20 positive cells. The orange, the parent NAM6 is CD20 lactive, so cannot be recognized by our CAR T cells. So from the red panel, we can see consistent with the, the radio tumor cell, our 20 BBG OS40 CAR T cells kill significantly more tumor cells than 20 BBG CAR T cells. Compared with the left panel, however, when the, both the 20 BBG and the 20 BBG OS40 uh, cannot efficiently kill the tumor antigen negative NM6 tumor cells. So we just suggest that although OS40 enhanced the, the antigen specific killing of tumor cells, but it didn't enhance the non specific killing of the tumor, tumor cells. Based on the enhanced proliferation and the enhanced cytotoxicity, we observed in which we performed uh, in vivo experiment with these CAR T cells. We used radio tumor biomass in uh, tumor biomass and treated one single dose of the 20 BBZ and the 20 BBZ OS40 CAR T cells. We found that uh, after the treatment, the tumor burden in, in bone marrow and in peripheral blood was uh, was decreased after the 20 BBG OS40 treatment. Uh, in the contrary, the, the, the CAR T cell proliferation was greatly increased after the 20 BBG OS40 CAR T cell treatment in both the bone marrow and the peripheral blood. And we also test whether this, uh, after the chronic tumor uh, bearing the, the tu chronic tumor tumor burden in vivo, whether these cells are still functional. We performed an ex vivo experiment. We get the uh, CAR T cells from the bone marrow and the co culture with the, the larger tumor cells. And in this ex vivo caning aside, we, we show that this 20 BBG OS40 CAR T cells, even after the long, long term tumor burden, in, tumor burden in vivo, still can kill more tumor cells than 20 BBG CAR T cells. Mm -hmm. And based on the enhanced proliferation and the enhanced the, the cytotoxicity in, in vivo, we of 20 BBG OS40 CAR T cells can significantly enhance the prolong the, the survival of radio tumor biomass. And similarly, we, we observe the prolonged survival of uh, dowdy bearing mass after the 20 BBG OS40 CAR T cell treatment. So the preclinical data summary will find that uh, OS40 can enhance multiple signal pathway activation, including nf kappa v AKT, and map canis. And OS40 reduces apoptosis and exhaustion of CAR T cells. And OS40 can enhance the persistence and the cell toxicity of CAR T cells in vitro and both in vitro and in vivo. So then we collaborated with the affiliated hospital of Shizu Medical University and uh, performed um, uh, IIT trial. And we enrolled five patients. All these patients are refractory, relapsed and refractory and based on lymphoma patients. And we, after a uh, lymphodepletion pre-treatment, we, we do a single dose CAR-T infusion. And every, every seven days, we get the blood, check the tumor burden, 
cell pens and the cardi cell position in peripheral blood. And after one month, we do PET CT analysis to check the tumor burden. So the first, we check the cardi cell proliferation in patients. And we can find that after seven days after infusion, we can check the cardi cells in, in peripheral blood is detectable by flow cytometry. And after uh, two weeks, the number of the CAR-T cells reached the proliferation peak. And in the following uh, three months, the CAR -T cell number dropped. And, then, and, and about three months after the, the infusion, we can still detect the, the CAR -T cells in peripheral blood by flow cytometry. Let's show one example of patient number three. After the seven after treatment, we can detect the CAR T cell in total T cell is like 0.6 percent, and on day 14 after treatment, it's about 80 percent of T, 86 percent of T cells are CAR T cells, and day 21 is 73 percent, and day 28 is 54 percent, and day 66 is 7 percent, and day 107 is 1.6 percent. It's very, it's which show very good persistence of the proliferation and persistence of CAR T cells in, in patients. So since we observed the very, very strong proliferation of the CAR T cells, we worry about whether this proliferation can induce cytokine release syndrome in patients. We have checked the interferon gamma L6, TNF-alpha L8, L4, and L7. We do not observe uh, high expression of these cytokines. And the summary of this cytokine release syndrome is one patient with grade two CRS, two patients with grade one CRS, and two patients with all CRS. So the overall the safety pro profile is good. And then we check the anti-tumor activity of the, the CAR T cells in patients. At first, we check the CD19 part two cells, including both the normal B cells and the tumor cells in peripheral blood. We find that uh, se after seven days after the infusion and uh, the CAR T cells kill, kill the most of the, the normal B cells and the tumor cells in peripheral blood. And this is consistent for uh, over three months. And the similar to the, similar to the, the zero graph model, we also po performed an extreme volcano assay with the CAR T cells from patient. We can compile this control cells. These CAR T cells can kill the tumor cells very potently extreme suggesting its function is well maintained after the, the long-term proliferation in, the, in patients. And also we can find that uh, by pet CT scan, we can find that the tumor burden, tumor, tumor burden imaging, we can find that tumor burden is greatly reduced after the treatment. Uh, usually we can see a uh, tumor burden reduction after uh, one month of the, one month after the infusion. So the clinical data summary, we can find that uh, the five, we know the five patients, two with the complete remi remission, and the three with the partial remission. And the, we didn't observe the CRS over grade three, and there's no neurological toxicity. So then we try to explore the potential application of the BBGOS 40 based car. So whether it's uh, applicable for targets, other targets, whether it's applicable for other formats of CAR, and whether it's uh, applicable for the uh, solid tumor. The to answer the first question, we, we uh, established 19 BBZ and 19 BBZ OS40, which is the similar design with the SFV as the CD19. We can find that the 19 BBZ OS40 show enhance the proliferation and uh, enhance the cell toxicity against the tumor cells. So it can be applied to, to other targets. And then we try to uh, apply this OS40 uh, expression to, to CD28 uh, zeta based the chimeric antigen receptor design. But however, in this design, we find that uh, the OS40 incorporation actually uh, decrease the, the proliferation of the CAR T cells. In our another study, we find that uh, in, in CD28 data-based CAR design and the 4MBB, 
the, co yeah, the other cost diminution receptor can enhance the proliferation and the reduce apoptosis of CD28 data based cardiac design. This tells us the we, we, we call it is cost stimulation pair. So we needed to explore which cost stimulation is, is better for, for this specific card design. So we also test whether this OS40 can be used as a, a third generation of CAR-T. In third generation of CAR-T, the two cost stimulation domain is physically linked together, tendermally linked together. But in our, in our test experiment, we find that our OS20 BBG OS40 is better than two third generation of CAR-T with the OS40 BBG or in different orientation, 20 BBOC. So this suggests that this uh, a separate, uh, not integrated OS40 is critical for our uh, car design. And, and also we test whether this BBZ OS40 based car uh, could be applicable to the solid tumor targets. We have tried the lung cancer and the pancreatic cancer model. We can find that in both two tumor models, our BBZ OS40 car construct ratio potent on the tumor effect against these two types of cancers. So we know OS40 is a receptor. We, it requires the engagement of the OS40 ligand to transduce the activation signal. So where is the OS40 ligand come from? And we know the OS40 ligand can be expressed by various antigen progeny cells, and it can also be um, express on the NK cells or activated T cells and endothelial cells and mast cells. So in our model, we find that the, the largely the, the B cell lymphoma and the Dowdy B, B cell lymphoma actually express high levels of the ligand, which can partially, suggest, partially explain why our P, 20 BBG O40 card is so effective against this B cell lymphoma. And also we find that actually mouse O40 ligand can bind to the human OS40 similar to the human OS40 ligand. So which suggests that the, the mouse antigen progeny cells can provide the OS40 ligand stimulation to the cardiac cells as well. So both tumor cell derived and host cell derived OS40 ligand play pre -crit critical role in activating our OS20 BBG OS40 cardiac cells. And also by uh, bioinformatical analysis of the, the human tumor tissue, a lot of tumor tissue, sh the cells in the tumor tissue sh should enhance the expression of OS40 ligand, like cervical cancer, colon cancer, and lung cancer, and which can explain why our BBG OS40 CAR tissue enhance the, the, and the tumor advocacy against the solid tumor, even the solid tumor itself, it, they don't express O40 ligand, but maybe the, the immune cells in the microenvironment can provide additional support for our 20, for our BBG O40 CAR cells. So overall, we think this O40 enhanced, the enhancing the CAR T function is very interesting, but the, the detail, the detailed mechanism is uh, is, is currently is unclear. So we try to dissect in, in our four experiments, we try to dissect the contribution of the tumor and the lung tumor derived OS40 ligand. And also the most important part, we try to analyze the signal transduction difference between OS40 and other costimulatory receptors. Why OS40 is too special, why, why it's better than other costimulation receptors. So that's my talk. I'd like to thank my our team in Shanghai Jiaohong University, especially Hui Hui Zhang and Fan Lin Li. And also I'd like, like to thank our collaborators, uh, Dr. Xin Wang and Chen Chen Zhang from Shanghai Longyao Biotechnology, and uh, Dr. Jiang Chao, Dr. Jun Lian Zhen, and Dr. Kenny Xu from Affiliated Hospital of Xizhou Medical University. And uh, I'd like to thank my, my Boss Dr. Yang Xinfu and Dr. Yang Wang from UT South Western. And I'd also like to thank my funding support. Thank you. Okay, all right. Thank you so much for Xue Ming's wonderful talk. So now we are going to the question. So, any question you can raise your hands or, or type in the chat board.
So is there any questions? Uh, hey, uh, uh, Xuanming. Uh, so this is a really uh, beautiful talk. And uh, uh, I think really nice to like uh, from the, uh, the 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 cell signaling to the to the mouse model and also to the to the to the trials. So uh, I think I have a, a couple of questions. So first, maybe it's a technical one. Uh, so here, the the constructs you have is like a, have a P2A site between the car and the OX40, and. Uh, uh, and uh, I, I assume you are using lentiviral vector, right? Yes, we are using lentiviral uh, vector. So, so one potential like problem we have, like um, I think maybe others, like is is the, the size limit for for the lentiviral because mm. the, the longer the, the insert, like the bigger the plasma, the more difficult for it to to package it into the virus to have like a, a high title. So do you have any like uh, uh, tips uh, for like how to, how to improve the, the, uh, the virus title by including an additional like uh, OX40, uh, like or additional protein after the car? Um, yeah, yeah, that, that's a good question. So actually mm, the, uh, for, the, uh, for the OX40 construct is, is okay because the OX40 is about uh, 300 amino acid, so it's about mm -hmm. one, 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 one kilo base pair, so it's okay. So the total size, the the transgene of the car and the P2A and O40 is about um, 2.5 kilo base pair, so it's okay. But for, for for your question, how can we improve the, the package efficiency of the lentiviral package? Actually, we have we have do some engineering on the lentiviral vector. We can increase the package efficiency in about uh, five to 10 times more. So that's not a problem for, for us now, yeah. Well, that's that's really nice. Yeah. So that's what also like in, in, in the in your paper's methods, right? Uh, yes, but this is the first uh, version, but we are using a new version now. It's, it's better than the previous version. See, yeah. See, yeah. If you are interested, we can, we can uh, talk about later, yeah. Okay, okay, that's good. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the, the other thing I, I think is interesting is like the, the OX40 only works in trans, so basically in separate uh, format. Yes. Um, mm. So uh, I wonder, uh, is there any way to, to look at like the signaling directly downstream OX40 when it is separated from the car versus it's on the car? To, to see like uh, why the, is that because of like the, when OX40 is uh, integrated into car, it's not like uh, the, the downstream signal is not activated or there are some other reasons. Um, okay, that's, I think that's a very good question because the reviewer asked the same question. At that time we cannot answer that question. We, we have some, ex some experiment uh, on going to, to dissect this mechanism. We compiled the, the tandem linked OS40 with the separately expressed OS40 uh, to compile the difference. But one difference I think is the about the stimulation. Stimulation, if it's tandemly linked to linked together, it's stimulated by the tumor antigen. Mm -hmm. But in the during the cardiac therapy, the, the tumor antigen is often uh, down regulated down regulated after the t engagement with the T cells but the um, the the natural like and also for the like expressed on various antigen presenting cells is different they can from the from the dynamic I think they can provide a more dynamic support of the os 40 activation signaling yeah that's the the difference but the the, the Intrinsic signal we are we are comparing. We, we don't have the answer now. Okay. So what 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 is is there any like a direct readout like for example for C two data we can look at the the item phosphorylation, but for for Ox forty is there any like direct readout for its its activation? Uh, we can direct check the recruitment of different troughs. Okay. And uh, yeah, and also you. You can do a later uh, F-carbon B activation 
end of carb AP plus three, and also the mechanics and AKT. Yeah. I see. Okay. That's, that's good. And for traff, it's like by by IP or by by what for to look at the association. Uh, yes, I think we we are going to compile the whether well, OS forty recruit different traps compile with other cost stimulation receptor. That's it. That's the, the 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 first step. The the difference. The first step difference we think. You, because you you will recruit different adapter and transduce downstream signaling as that's what we are we are testing yeah yes um, so uh, I think this is very interesting because uh, uh, you, you probably also noticed like uh, I think maybe two weeks ago so there are two like a bar archive papers published one from uh, 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 Cole Roybo and the other from uh, Mike uh, Bur uh, Burbaum. So, so they, they did uh, actually the pool screen of the, the cytosolic domain, the new cytosolic domains that can potentially improve CAR-T function. And I think many of their hits is actually in this, uh, uh, the, the TNF, uh, uh, like uh, similar to OX40. So they okay. find a lot of other like uh, in, in the same family of proteins that actually can promote the, the, uh, uh, the, the persistence of, of uh, the CAR T. Um, so I, I think that's, that's a kind of uh, uh, interesting, um, maybe there, there are more like can be explored in, in this like uh, family of protein because the, the downstream like uh, uh, signaling of them are all like these traps and the and, and carbon B. Um, so, so I think that's uh, probably uh, will be something interesting. And also I, I think like uh, your, your design is pretty like unique because different from like uh, most of the others, like they just put a stitch another cytosolic signaling domains, but your design is like put them separate, which I think is very, uh, very unique. And I think they are probably also uh, can be have some other broader applications. Um, so maybe last question is, are you also like doing this for some solid tumor uh, antigen? Yes, we, we have tested, um, tested some solid tumor targets like like uh, EGFR crowding 18.2 uh, both show very good uh, efficacy on solid tumor and actually the the, the this construct for solid for solid tumor is uh, is even even better than lymphoma cells yeah that's very very <laughs> interesting yeah because initially, initially we think this B cell they expressed autophily ligand can provide a stimulation of the mm -hmm. cardiac cells, but these these solid tumor cells actually show show better response. We we are struggling this. We are we are trying to explore this mechanism. Yeah. So, but forty the forty ligand is also expressed in other like a type of cells or maybe some some in in the tumor microenvironment. Yes, that's true. But we think uh, in the lymphoma model, you can also get the support from antigen progeny cells and also from the tumor cells itself. Mm -hmm. So they should have more activation. But uh, the, 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 the result is that we get better result on solid tumor, actually. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's, that's really cool. Um, mm. Maybe just one related question. So have you seen any like priming function of like uh, OX40? In, in like uh, activating the CAR T. Uh, okay, I, I see a point. Yeah, it's a good question. But in our system, our T cells is pre-activate, so it's mm -hmm. yeah, it's hard to do to to check the the priming phase in, in our system. Let's see. Okay. Yeah. That's great. Cool. Yeah. Thanks so much. Thank you, Shari. So, uh, which one? Hey, Shami. Uh, thanks for the um, I I have just a two simple questions. So, so um, one is um, you actually show in your in your trial um, data that the patient have the tumor reduced by the CP, CT scan. Uh, I, I I remember it's like three different or four different patients. 
But um, in the um, in vitro cell experiment, you show one of the probably example. I was curious that what about the other patient? I mean, even though they have shrink tumor, what about their mm -hmm. you know part C phenotype? Okay, so actually we show, and like you said, we show one example. We have tested all the five patients uh, except the patient number one. He he underwent um, uh, hematopoietic translator, so so we excluded from the later study, and the, all four patients tested and they show tumor reduction by the CT scan, and the the, the T cell phenotype we checked uh, we checked the. Uh, the CD4, CD8 percentage and the memory subtype and the car, the, the car, T, the car positive and all similar. We, we, we didn't find the, um, any clue linked to the therapeutic efficacy because we have two complete remission and three partial remission, but we do find, and also we check the dosage. The dosage is different, but it, it didn't link to the therapeutic efficacy. So you're saying that the the, uh, the the CAR T persistent and tumor killing capacity of these in different patients show the similar trend? Is that what you're saying? Yes, show similar trend. Show similar trend. We um, you, actually you can find the one one patient with very uh, the, the 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 T cell proliferation is the the best one. Actually, is is a partial response. I, I think I, I remember it's a partial response. The best of the proliferation is a partial response. As, as, overall, we think is um, as the patient number is small. We for yeah. now we cannot draw conclusion, but we do get some information is re relatively safe and the proliferation is good compared with the reported CAR T cells. Yeah. Okay. Um, I think my second question actually is uh, something you mentioned in your. Um, Take home message. I, I'm still curious about this because, um, like Charlie said, the, the design of the OX40 is somehow separate from the other specific uh, domain enhancement. So, my question I mean, maybe you already have thought about it. The, the uniqueness of your design, the OX40, compared with, for example, the CD4, CD3 downstream signaling enhancement or CD28 or other co stimulant molecule. Uh, what's the what's the particular advantage or the um, difference from this OX40 to the other co-stimulated model, or let's say C3 per se itself? Mm, that's a good question. Just we are uh, we're trying to 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 answer that question. We try to compile the signal possible difference, but for now. We do observe that actually this um, the the core stimulation core stimulation receptor originally expressed on CD4 or maybe T reg cells are actually more helpful for the car design. Like we showed the OS40, the JTA, they, they show high expression on the on the regulatory T cells, and also in some type of memory cells. But the, the the detailed mechanism we, we don't know. We just find the link. They originally express on some memory T cells, express on regulated T cells, and this may be unique signal pathway underlying. Yeah. Um, but then uh, I guess I'm curious that um, do you think, let's say, whether the OX, uh, OX 40 is synergistically or uh, with, you know, CAR T per se, or the other customer molecule, let's say ICOS or CD28, what's the difference? Or you think the OX40 have particular strong effect? That's a very good question. Actually, we mentioned a little bit about it's what we call the cost stimulation pair. So the, the CAR design in our experiment is CD3 Zeta combined with 4MBB. And we think this this 4MBB with our separately express OS40 is a good, good pair, we think. And also we check the literature, we find in mouse study, OS40 and 4MBB synergistically improved memory T cell information, memory T cell development in mice. That's, that's already reported. Yeah. That's interesting. 
Okay, yeah. thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Chan. Okay, so uh, is, are there any other questions? Okay, I didn't see anybody is raising his hands on. Okay, so uh, thank you so much, Chiming, for your wonderful talk. And as, it's very exciting. And we look are looking forward to that. I, I think the whole world is looking forward to CAR-T's implication in the solid tumor, right? So yeah. thank you so much again. And thanks, uh, Wu Chuan and Xiao Lei's work. Thank you all the audience. So uh, thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Xiaoming. Thank you.